Hey, this is Asha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. What I wanted to do is share with you some insight on what we do in the Swing Charts membership plan. Now, this video that you're gonna see right now is a quick little clip, meaning it's cut, and you'll see a couple of little sections of it uh, from the actual members section. So in the members section, you'll get the full video. In this video, you'll go ahead and see a little cut or trimmed version of it. So if you're interested in joining us to see what we do in the uh, members section of the Swing Charts uh, membership, go ahead and take a look at our website at tradersfly.com. So you can see it's tradersfly. Dot com and you'll be taken to a site like this. By the way, go ahead and check out some of the freebies we have there. You can download a bunch of freebies absolutely free by going to this area. But if you wanna see the members section, go ahead and click this members area right there. And then you can go here and you can check out the swing charts and that'll take you to a page similar to this. Now, just for you guys right now, because we have kind of this deal promotion going on, uh, I wanna go ahead and share the love. So you can go ahead and click the get it now button here on the monthly plan. And what you can do is go ahead and when you go to the coupon, share the love, all lowercase, apply the coupon, and what it'll do is give you half off the first month uh, for signing up. So again, remember, coupon codes expire from time to time. It's not going to last forever. So uh, as you're watching this video, maybe it already expired. Uh, but in the meantime, we try to keep this coupon code active as you're watching the video. So keep that in mind. Um, and uh, if you have any trouble or issues, feel free to reach out to us or our team. Anyways, um, I'd love to see you in the membership section. We really focus in on charts, technical analysis, and you'll get a sample of that here uh, as we go into this video. So enjoy the video and I'll see you at the end. All right, so let's check out um, AAN here. This is Aaron's and uh, let's just go in to our uh, normal normal uh, levels. So what I wanted to show you here is this is an interesting one to check out. So here is our level of uh, resistance and support. And here, let me draw it with a shorter line. Here is our gap. So if you look at the gap, here was our previous uh, resistance overhead. This was our uh, breakout point. You can see also the uh, bullish volume picking up some speed here. So here you also have some nice wide price spread, which I always like to see. So in this case, I'm bullish on the stock. It looks good, at least for now, for the time being. Uh, there is also a little bit of a gap here. So always be cautious with markets at all time highs. But if we pull back here and bounce, uh, this would be a healthy sign. So uh, watch for a possible pullback and then a bounce as this would be the healthiest uh, thing you can uh, have. Um, and of course, a bounce on volume would be key. So I like this stock if you can get that bounce right there. If not, of course, a step aside and um, move on. Uh, AutoZone, here's another one that if we go in, let's check out the weekly here for you. Uh, this one, take a look. It's very, uh, very interesting right here. So this you can see is uh, breaking out here. Here we've got a little bit of resistance. Uh, here also resistance. Uh, so the stock is uh, stock is attempting to break out past the resistance, which is a good thing, right? So it's a good thing. Um, but uh, the volume is weak. This stock normally trades weaker volume. Anyway, the volume is a bit weak. Uh, in the past, you did have some uh, some confluence here so be mindful that uh another uh another area uh, resistance is right here so that could be a little bit of a problem area nevertheless stock looks okay uh you'll it, it would be nice to see more volume coming in that's ultimately the key other than that stock looks good i mean this one just normally doesn't trade as much volume and that's just the way it moves. So you have to know and understand how these uh, stocks behave. And uh, this one seems normal for the breakout. Uh, let's check out FFIV, which is another one here, uh, F5 Networks. What I want to show you here is uh, look at this support level right here, how it's coming right in. Here's your uh, support. Here's also your support. So if you look at this, Right here, there's your resistance. You're kind of in, in this sideways uh, consolidation at pattern right here. Uh, bearish volume is picking up a little bit. That's a bit of an issue. I think this one could sell off further 
So here's uh, rejection or resistance. So uh, I'm a little bit more uh, neutral right now, but leaning into the bearish side with this stock. Uh, this stock is acting uh, fairly weak and uh, it could be a possible shorting opportunity when it breaks this uh, support level um, here. So that's what you're kind of watching right now. Uh, of course, make sure, uh, make sure the moves are on high volume and wide price spread before you take any action on these moves. Uh, other than that, um, you know, we've also had this uh, downward descending trend line. So you can see that stock attempted to break out. So it is possible that this breakout here could push that stock a bit higher. Uh, but we've just been moving sideways and, and getting this rejection. So on a shorter term, you know, uh, be a little bit more cautious. On the longer term, it's possible that maybe this longer uh, downward pattern is now kind of ending and, um, and maybe we're reversing trend to the upside. I don't think so, but we will see. All right, uh, Roku, some people's favorite TV time. Here is the weekly. One of the things with the weekly, it does have, have me a bit concerned. This is a very popular uh, company, but this does have me a little bit of concern. Uh, I'm a little bit tied and twisted on, on what's going on here. So I'm more neutral on it. And the reason for that is oh, um, neutral because we have a powerful uh, and strong stock and it's been doing well, but we are right at resistance. So it could have a slight pullback uh, here, but it's been doing so well. So uh, trade cautiously, um, maybe add on pullbacks or reduce uh, risk or size for a possible pullback. Um, other than that, the stock's been doing well and, and I like it from that perspective. But the problem is, is we've just been, you know, we're right at kind of resistance and that's a little bit of, a, of an issue for me. And the volume that's bullish, that's also, has been good, but we're right at resistance. And this is a little bit of a concern for me. So be a little bit more careful here um, as you're right at resistance. So be cautious and, um, you know, either trade lighter. If you normally would buy 50 shares, maybe buy 20 shares and uh, kind of take that approach. If you normally would be bullish on this stock, be a little less bullish on the stock. Um, so be a little more careful. Okay, so there you go. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in this little clip video. Remember, this was just a shortened clip and version of what we do in the member section. If you wanna join us, go ahead and go to the website at tradersfly.com. That way you get insight on, hey, some of the freebies, the start get started pages, and join us on the membership section by clicking the members area here. That'll forward you to our uh, members website and you can go ahead and sign up for the swing charts if it's something that you're interested in. Anyways, thank you so much for joining us. Remember, hit the subscribe button if you're brand new to the channel or of course, uh, join the mailing list by clicking the link right over here. And that way you get notified as we release other great videos, products, courses, or even live events sometimes on YouTube. All right, thanks again and I will see you next time.